hello and welcome to our video about um, exponential modeling using the CAS calculator. Uh, this is the worksheet that you should have in front of you and the question that we're looking at helping with is this one here. Uh, the instructions here are a bit vague so I wanted to give you a bit of a video to go through um, and explain how you can complete this section. So you should have already done the first part of the uh, worksheet and filled in your graph. Um, what we're going to do now is try and get the calculator to uh, fit an exponential uh, graph to the data, the real world data that you've got in front of you. So I'm going to try and loosely follow this so it helps you with your understanding. Uh, where we need to head is the statistics, this green statistics menu. Uh, when we get there, it looks a lot like a spreadsheet, but it's not this one that we're looking for. If you ever go back there, it's the statistics one. So click on statistics and you'll end up with list one and list two. Your two lists will be blank with these numbers underneath. And all you need to do, let me just move this CAS over. All you need to do is fill in list one, these numbers from the time series. You can see how mine go down there. And list two, fill in the temperature uh, values there for list two. So pause the video now while you take a minute to do that on your CAS calculator. Okay, hopefully you've got those numbers filled in. The next thing that you need to do I'll just take this back so we can look at the list over here. Uh, plot list one against list two in a scatter plot. A scatter plot is the one with uh, just with dots, not with anything joined, dots for each point. And the way we do that is we press this little graphing button up the top left. So press that one straight away and it will automatically take list one versus list two and you should get a graph that looks something like this, just with the dots. There shouldn't be any lines joining it at the moment. Now, if you were doing this in an exam situation or a test situation, I'd be having a look at this um, data and trying to think about which of our functions that we know uh, would most likely fit this, um, this model. And hopefully you can see that that would look a lot like an exponential graph. Um, and so we will be using our exponential modeling. The way we calculate, and the calculator can just tell us straight away what the actual rule is for our graph. The way we do that, make sure that you've got your blue box around the outside here on the bottom half. I'll just click to the top half, not like this. See the blue box is around the top half. Click back onto the bottom half, definitely on the bottom half. Click up here to calculate down to regression and when you click regression you get all the different graphs that we have studied so far. So if you're in a test situation and you thought this was a, a linear, uh, if it looked like a straight line, if they looked like they were perfectly in a straight line then you would choose linear regression, you could choose quadratic if you thought it looked like a quadratic or a cubic or a quartic, uh, logarithmic is there exponential is there and the one we're going to use is a b exponential this exponential is a slightly more advanced one that we're going to learn about soon but the one that we've been working on is the a b exponential so make sure you click a b exponential regression and it will ask you uh, where your x values are and if you remember we put our x values into list one our y values into list two it automatically populates all these the rest of them you just need to keep as they are. Uh, this one can be useful if you want to have a copy of the formula for later. Uh, so we might put that in Y4 and I'm going to click OK. Now this page that comes up, it gives you the formula at the top, Y equals A times B to the power X. And then it gives you the value of A here, gives you the value of B, and then it gives you all these other extra values. 
Uh, you don't need to worry about the bottom three. You just need to worry about the A and the B and how to slot them into the formula. So you need to jot these numbers down now on a piece of paper because this is the only time you're going to see this unless you go through the whole thing again. And this is why I uh, selected copy the formula, so I had a copy of it. Um, so it's a good idea to jot down value the formula, y equals a times b to the x, and then a equals 99.52, and b equals 0.95. Two decimal places is fine. Um, I think... Just going to check. Um, oh, it says up here three decimal places, so we might do three decimal places. 99.524 and 0 0.950. Click OK. And it will draw you the exponential graph that it's selected. Um, this is for you to check how closely uh, your model has fit your data. And it's not always going to fit it perfectly, but this one looks like it does... It is pretty close. Uh, possibly with your CAS, you could try zooming in and see how close it actually is to those points, but it looks like it's going through most of our points. So this is a good um, explanation of a model that does fit our data. Now. Having a look. back over here you just need to copy that data and finish off the rest of your work. Um, if you chose if you wanted to choose a different data point you can make sure your graph is selected again and calculate regression and choose a different um, graph if you thought that this one didn't fit it perfectly. Thanks for watching video today hope it was helpful for you.